Hi everybody, it's Nicole. Welcome back for another plan with me. Today I'll be doing a plan with me with this Me Time kit from Honeydew Paper Shop. I am obsessed with Honeydew Paper Shop's kits. Her premium matte paper is really pretty and she offers a lot of really fun functional stickers and um, her kits are just so gorgeous and so well put together. Um, but anyway, like I mentioned, I am planning in my Erin Condren this week. I've kind of been flip-flopping back and forth between my EC and my B6. I love them both. I just, I can't commit to one over the other right now. Um, but right now I'm just starting off with the bottom washi. Oh, I am planning for the week of March 19th. I think I forgot to mention that through the 25th. I have a lot going on this week. So what I did is I decided to do a plan as I go style spread for this week. If you're unfamiliar with my channel or if you are new to the planner community and are unsure of what a plan as I go style spread is, for me personally that means I sit down at the end of each night and plan my next day or if I have a good sense of the next couple of days, I will plan the next couple of days. I really enjoy plan as I go style spreads. I like doing them and I enjoy watching other people put together their spreads in a plan as I go style. I just feel like you get to see a lot more stickers than you would during a pre-plan with me video, especially in my case. My weeks get so um, busy as my week progresses. I have last minute meetings that pop up constantly. Um, but that's just like a personal issue that I have. But anyway, I did go ahead and lay down all of the full boxes. This kit had so many beautiful florals, so I thought it was really perfect for the beginning of spring. Even though we had a snowstorm where I live the first day of spring, um, I thought this was a really beautiful kit to use for this week. I did try something a little bit different. I started off this video with autofocus so it does go in and out a little bit. I do end up turning that off because um, you won't see it but I skipped through the part where I put down all the glitter headers. It was just a little bit too choppy and I didn't want to give anyone like nausea watching <laughs> this plan with me. Um, it it's not the best. My camera doesn't have the best autofocus, but anyway, I just lay down everything from my sidebar as normal. I do track my work hours, and then I had just a bunch of random errands to run this week, so I put a to-go header down and a ombre heart checklist, and because I forgot to put it down for um, or at the top of my sidebar, I put my habit tracker down there at the bottom. And then I did use the date covers that came with the kit for this week. They were really beautiful. And before I forget, I do just want to apologize in advance if this video is a little bit all over the place and choppy. I feel like I was having multiple issues with my SD card filling up, my battery dying, and things like that. The sunlight was also in and out at a funky part of this video. So I'm sorry in advance if it's a little choppy. Um, but anyway, moving on into the day to day, I started off Monday with a label and a coffee cup sticker. I had to get into one of my office locations early and I just used that to remind myself that I wanted to get to work earlier than normal. And then I put down another functional icon from the kit. This time I pulled in the laptop icon because my boss was having some difficulties with his computer that I was going to try and help him fix. After that, I put down a glitter quarter box from the glitter sampler that I purchased separately from the shop. And then I layered a rose gold phone icon from J'adore Planning over top of it. I did decide to pull in rose gold this week and I thought it turned out really beautifully. The rose gold with this kit looks really nice. I think it's super pretty. Next, I put down a half box and I pulled in another rose gold foiled sticker. This time, I pulled in a bow clip from my newest addiction and I used that to mark that a new program was launching within our company. We were using a new software at work, so I definitely wanted to mark that because it uh, directly affected my department. I did end up swapping out the half box that I pulled in. I didn't love the two florals next to each other, so I just pulled up the bow clip and placed it down on a solid full box or half box instead. I also didn't love the bow on top of the floral half box anyway, so I think the solid option was a much better choice. 
I had to return some keys on Monday as well to a storage unit we were no longer utilizing for work. So to mark that, I pulled out the glitter sampler that I purchased and I initially put down a green glittered flag and I think I swapped that out on camera because I ended up writing on the flag and I didn't like how it turned out. So I do swap that out for a purple flag and um, it was quite a bit of ways away so I put down that car sticker to mark the fact that I drove to drop off the keys. I had a meeting the next morning and to mark that I pulled in a label from Shop Jessica Hearts and I think these worked really well because it was a sheet of all pink labels and they had rose gold glitter flags printed on them as well so I thought they worked really well with this kit. I needed to remind myself to get something done at work so to mark that I pulled in this bow paper clip sticker that came with the functional icons as part of the kit. And then I ended up having to make a doctor's appointment that day. I went to the eye doctor. Um, so I put down a quarter box, a really pretty half patterned floral box. And that is one of my favorites. I think it's so pretty. I don't know why. Um, but I put a gold foiled, oh no, a rose gold foiled icon from Planning World. The one with the clock on it to mark my appointment. And then when I went back to work... I wanted to get a few things done right away so I put down a to do header and I put down a three heart checklist. I cut up a heart checklist down to three just to mark some tasks that I wanted to get accomplished for that day. We were planning for a storm the next day so I made a liquor store run in hope that I would get off the next day. Unfortunately that didn't happen but to mark my liquor store run I pulled in a flag from the kit and layered it with another icon from Jador Planning in rose gold. So I don't know what happened, but somehow I lost all of my footage from Wednesday and I'm so upset. The good thing is I didn't really pull in anything from anywhere else. So I did strictly use stickers from the kit. I'll talk you through really quickly what I put down. I started off with a floral pattern flag and a icon from the kit. I had to inform all of my staff that we were going to be open since the snowstorm got delayed in our area. I did have a meeting that morning. I didn't decorate the box with anything, but I just put down a um, quarter box to mark my meeting. And then as the snow got heavier, we decided that our office was gonna close. So I put that I left work early and I just marked it with a little heart sticker that came with the kit. I ended up doing some work from home, so I pulled in the glasses that came as part of the functional deco, and I layered it over top of a couple of strips of washi just to mark that I did do some work when I got home. And then after that, it was pretty much a lazy afternoon, so I pulled in a half box and some of the deco that came with the kit. There was a pair of really cute slippers and a candle that I thought worked well to mark a lazy afternoon. And then moving on to the second half of the week, I just finished up putting the glitter headers down and then in a moment I am going to be putting down the rest of the date covers and the flag up at the top. Starting off on Thursday, I placed another Shop Jessica Hearts appointment label at the start of the day. I used that to mark an early morning meeting. And then after my meeting, I had to stop at UPS to drop off a couple of returns. We had ordered a few things at work that didn't work out for us. So I decorated that with the envelope that came as part of the functional icons. Towards the later part of the day on Thursday, I placed a quarter box down and I layered a rose gold laptop icon from Planning World over top of it. It was a slower day at work for me, so I got to really dig in and kind of explore the new program or software that got implemented at my job on Monday. Underneath that, I placed a glitter flag along with the cutlery icon from the kit. Marvin made dinner that night since I got home pretty late. After we ate, we watched one of of our current favorite shows we've been watching the assassination of Gianni Versace we've been really or I at least have really been enjoying it I think the acting is so good I am really into true crime television and podcasts and books anything true crime you name it I'll probably read it or watch it um, but that show in particular is really good I've been really enjoying it um, Anyway, moving on to Friday, I had a Skype call in the morning, so I used a Fox and Pip bow paperclip to mark that, and then I had to call my accountant to follow up on my taxes, so to mark that, I placed a quarter box, and I pulled in another foiled icon from Jador Planning 
just with the asterisk to mark that I had to make that call. I stopped for coffee after work because I had a long night ahead of me, so I used a flag and the coffee cup icon to mark that. That night, Marvin and I went to see a band with a friend that lives in the city. He came down to visit us, and we went to see the band at a venue that I used to essentially live at. I used to be really into music and alternative rock, so I spent a lot of my high school and college weekends at this particular venue, and the band that we saw on that Friday was Matt and Kim. They're so much fun. They're super high energy, uh, just so much fun. The concert was a really good Good time. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with them. If you are, let me know in the comment section down below. They are a lot of fun to see in concert if you have the opportunity to. But anyway, I just marked the concert with a half box and the balloons that came with the kit. I didn't really have anything to mark a concert with. Um, but anyway, moving on to Saturday, I placed a today header and I cut up a heart checklist to mark the errands that I had to run. And by this point in the plan with me, I was planning all of this on Sat or no, I'm sorry, Wednesday. I was planning all of this on Wednesday and I completely forgot to write down my plans as I went. So that's why I stopped writing everything as I went because I had a pretty good grasp of my week come Wednesday. So I planned all of this on Wednesday. Um, but anyway, at the end of the night, Saturday, I had a dinner date planned. There were three of us going out on a kind of like triple date. So I wanted to get ready, do my hair, do my makeup, and to mark that, I used a Fox and Pip Getting Ready Girl. And then to mark the dinner itself, I placed a half box down and I layered another rose gold foiled icon from J'adore Planning. And then on Sunday, I placed a few strips of washi down and that t-shirt that says, I think it says I'm not a morning person. I can't read it from here. So I'm sorry if that's not what it says, but I used that to mark that I wanted to sleep in because I knew I was going to be out late the night before. And then we had a family brunch scheduled that morning. Um, so to mark that, I placed a half box down and I layered a rose gold foiled cutlery sticker from J'adore Planning again. Moving from the bottom up, I placed that little vase of flowers down at the bottom. I just used that to mark that I wanted to have a relaxing night. I, that was my favorite piece of deco from the kit and I really wanted to pull it in somehow. So I used it to mark a relaxing night in. And then above that, I knew I needed to get some editing done. So I pulled in a quarter box and another rose gold icon from planning world and then that completed the spread i love how this turned out i think it is a beautiful floral kit which incorporated some other elements which was nice i hope you guys enjoyed the spread i will chat with you all in my next video bye guys